Can they hear me now? So they never heard anything I said. So they didn't get the winning lottery number. All right. So to start back over, what we're doing this week is going to paint this monster in an hour. And the reason we're doing that is, is to help those DMs out there that allowed their party to get past whatever it was, and now they're facing the boss, and he needs to have a boss ready for tonight. So sort of just like we did last time I was on the show, we painted two PCs in an hour. We're going to get this guy done in an hour, hopefully. I haven't done this in years, so we're going to see how it goes. So that was why, that's what's the effort there. So now to catch you up on what we're doing here. Oh, yeah, and I used that metaphor earlier. It's like watching Evil Knievel jump motorcycles. Everybody's there to root to see if he fails, lands in the bus. Anyway, what we're doing at this point is, is, is a, for me, a fast paint job. By the way, I am not able to read any, or there is no monitor for me for comments and stuff like that. So hello to everybody that's here. Welcome and thank you for coming on. Justin's in turn going to be the one that's going to feed me uh, comments as he gets them, I guess, or questions. So what we're doing here is, is if I'm going to paint something quickly, it needs to be from black in my style. So what I've got here is Bones Dragon Black, and I'm just putting it on. I'm getting it on really fast and thin using this big house brush. Now, one of the things that I'm not doing here is really worried about getting it into all of the upper areas. It's covering real well, obviously, but the main thing is, is I want to make sure I get black in the lower areas. So when I dry brush it white, uh, we can pick all that up. So I would be wasting time trying to put a very sincere coating on. So if you haven't painted minis with house brushes before, it's something to do. It's 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 fairly legal, I guess. Hey, um, yes, sir. Grim four 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 wants to see you lick that brush. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen this time. But you got to make sure it's got a nice point, Dad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. I, I am a brush licker, though. Sometimes it sort of comes and goes. It depends on the model. Sometimes I'm that way. Sometimes I'm not. It just depends. I'm more of a brush pincher between some sort of a drying cloth because I'm wanting to use it immediately, which wears them out real fast. In no time at all, I've got a, a brush that literally has three hairs on it. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and roll the intro now. Since Why don't you do little, that? Little no, late. give me a second to help get ahead. Well, damn, that was fast. That didn't do much. Yeah, I mean, the intro is only uh, like, like three seconds. Three seconds long. Okay. So, anyway... Now, what we're going to end up doing is, is going with a basic red tone, classic sort of demon kind of a thing. Uh, he's obviously in an area that's going to be on fire. At least that's my perception of what I see. The sculpting aside, I don't know why he's got a leather bracer on. It doesn't seem like that would be really handy down there, but uh, nonetheless, we'll address it. And I like to, when I'm doing this, I like to pretty much work from the inside out. And that way allows when I get to the top bottom half, I can hold the top half and it's ready to go. So I'm hoping everybody's having a good week here. We have ReaperCon next week, so tensions are high. Hey, actually, to, uh, to save you guys the time, we're, we're not actually giving anything away this week. Um, we're going to give something away tomorrow. Um, but it's been a, a rather hectic week with ReaperCon and all that other stuff, so we... We're still shipping out the stuff from last week, guys. So uh, you can you can save yourself the the. I mean, if you can type, if you want to type hashtag free, you're welcome to. But you know, I'm letting you know it's. it's you know, gonna somebody's going to dox you, and I'm thinking because they got it you and not me. You were the one that delivered that news, made that executive decision. Me, I always give stuff away. Not that I'm trying to make your life harder. Uh, you're right, Cajun Major. I meant, I meant, I meant this episode. I mean, for God's sake, Ed is painting with a, um, I don't know what that. One is. and a half inch house brush. Actually, it's also too a very high quality to do this like this this fast. Um, this brand here is Walmart's brand, Linzer Best, but it's about a nine or ten dollar brush. It's you don't want a cheap, just go get one brush. I think that's one of these here that was up here we found but uh, or michael wrestled up and the difference is is on this particular brush here when you're running your ha fingers on itself it's definitely you feel uh it's coarser it's stiffer uh kind of a thing so you do like with even the small brushes you pay for you get what you pay for so anyway 
but especially on a large model like this to get it done and get it done fast. I mean, we could have sprayed it, I guess. I could have gone down and done that. It was just easier to sit down and do this and get it going. And, you know, I could make this really easy and just at the end go, hey, it's a black demon. There we go. We could do that. They suggest that we just give away what you finish here today. Oh, that's fine. We, we could absolutely do that. Yeah. You know what? Why not? Let's I don't do know that. what happens to all the stuff anyway. Um, it disappears. You just, you know, never, never land. It just goes away. Right. That is the Rotheros. Do you remember the exact um, number for that one? Number? Ed? No. I know he's currently up right now in his... Bones Kickstarter 4 bag, not bag for retail. We, we, he was listed with all of the other models. Um, he's a particular favorite of mine. I've always had a fondness for him. But he was in the Warlord game. He was a demon in there. And uh, so he's got his forearms. I just always had it liked him. I mean, we could have just as easily done a dragon, but that's almost cheating in a way because a dragon can be done really fast if you have to because it is at the end of the day just scales and such. And, uh, all right. Well, now that we're going to give it away, I got to pay attention. I don't need them to put it this up and go, God, what a POS paint job. So they, they might do that anyway. Yeah. All right. Then I'll go ahead and detail the base a little bit. We'll do something to it. At least it'll be a finished model. All right. So with that done, I'll clean that guy out later. We have another one. This one happens to be clean. I need to turn my little palette thingy around to get rid of the black. Good use for my phone. There we go. So now what we're going to do is dry brush the whole thing in white. Is this the one? Now, when I need paint real quick, obviously this is what they're, you've cut the nipple. I'm just popping the nipple off. You can always put it back on, but it will just pop off. And that allows me to get a lot of paint really quick. Now with this, I'm going to go ahead just like it's a dry brush. I know you can't. Let me pull it over here. Use the close-up camera. Yeah. 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 So you can see, I'm actually going to get this like you would just a huge version of doing a dry brush. Dry brush. This is regular 20 pound, 20 pound copy paper. So now that I've got it and it's like that, and I'll start off with really light, lightest kind of accent strokes, kind of a thing. On top edges, I also want to make sure that I am getting in. Here you go if you want to shoot that. Up close. Up close. Yeah. Now, what I found was is I'm going in and I'm just going to hit these areas the first time really light. It's just going to be like I can see it. And I mean that looks like ass even up close. But that's just all I want to do at first. And then as we get closer, and I'll show you on this wing here. Now leading edges like this, we're going to need to get more solid with the whole equation as we get there. And then these other areas are just going to be more subtle in there things but we still have a lot of contrast this is all we're really at this point is just bringing the contrast up I'm losing all my brushes there uh, twisted doma or twisted uh -huh. Oma. they ask if you would uh, sign that sign uh, okay I'll the, sign for it. the winner at the Reaper uh, ReaperCon next week okay well so, wait is it I thought we were whoever watching the show is gonna get it yeah I assume he's talking about this and we're gonna give it away and we you know you can oh sign I'll that sign it before it goes Why I'll not? do something yeah for sure so you can see how I put out a good amount of paint. I mean, this brush is going to take a lot to load it up. But I do want to get it down, like you're seeing there. And now we're just going to go in. And my first ones with the wet brush are pretty light. As you can see, I'm just barely touching this. Because i got to sort of see how much is still on there, what it's doing, how it's acting. Kind of a thing. And over here, so it's still, so I'll go back up here. And you can see here, now we're getting more contrast because we're going one on top of the other that was there. Mm. 
Okay. And this is actually the easy part. This is the part I'm scared of. The scary part's going to come when we start getting the color on. So now, after I've got the load up work down onto the brush, on these other areas, this is where I'll just start hitting it. And it's really very, very light is all I'm getting. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Let me Thanks go back the to the other. Uh, also, so, uh, so you can see on the tail and in the back area, that's what this, it's a lot lighter because it's that first toe coat and I'm doing it after I've used up the load up on that part. So, or the initial when I first, after I get the paint, the first paint on there. I don't know what the technical term was, is, Anne would be able to tell me. She knows everything. You want to get that a little lower so they can see it? There you go. Yeah. Um, does that model come with an optional whip for his right hand? I didn't assemble this one, but I oh, don't know. I think okay. there's something. One of the models somewhere comes with several options. Because I'm about to link one of them, but... Uh... Oops, let me get down. There we go. I get lost in my own little world here. I believe I just linked this particular demon, so um, it doesn't look like it has the same configuration. It, it, Can you show me a picture up here, or is it just a link? Yeah, it's just a link. Oh, it's, it is? It's okay. Rothros, but okay. I don't know if we have two of them that do the same thing. Which it looks like I do wing, believe the there was one that had different. optional hands or something on the front. That sounds familiar, but... Anyway. Yeah, actually on this one, looks like the wings are a little different, so... But it is Rothros. It is Rothros, yes. All right. So, I bet we got one more to go. Let me get the swords. So, as you can see, what we're doing is pulling out this whole thing and, uh, I don't know, just dry brushing it white. Now, we're going to get a little bit more. And now, what I'm going to do is move more towards a uh, uh, highlight. Let me see my time. Man. You're at 148. You still I have uh, 45 minutes. So I don't know what you're going to do with the other 10 minutes. Assuming we get there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just barely touching this. And see how wide it is? It's because I'm using this brush, and it's on there. And you're not going to get it as down as, as empty as you would a small brush. You want to get that a little closer for me, Ed, so it's in focus? Right. Like towards me. There you go. There we go. Oh, okay. So, but you can you see, see by just... see right there? Oh, okay. Yeah. Right there. So as I'm going along, it's just I'm barely touching it. It's not even a dry brush method any mo motion, but it's just hitting all of the high spots. And then the ones way down in, I'm just going to ignore and use a smaller brush to catch all that stuff. So right now, what we're really trying to do is just catch all of the big stuff. And so we're going to give them a little bit of that. But if I wasted time, or not wasted time, if I tried to get down in there and get this brush here to do all of the inside like I did with the black, well then I'm just going to end up with a white model. And uh, that's not our goal. Let's see. I'm, just having, I'm looking at a TV screen so everything's backwards. There we go. Boy, it really looks bad. So now we could, we could stop now and call him a ghost demon, I guess. We could get away with that. Now I'm just going to knock off this stuff. Okay, so we're done with that part. Now what I'm going to do is get a some more white here. I didn't find brushes. I didn't go through them before. That one looks like it'll work. Uh, the good old that one looks like it'll work. Yeah. See, I love the contrast from when Anne paints to when you paint. It really works well. It goes like from an art bang. form with her to a garbage form with me, I guess. So at this point, really what I'm going to be trying to do now is closer. hit really close. Let me see if I can find. You can yeah, see. Get well, it, we'll get go up to close. there. So he's got his abs here, and I'm just really going to hit each ab. Kind of thing, because I'm really going to want this kind of stuff to stand out when we do it. In hey. the end, the black is really going to be our layering. Hey, uh, is that a warm white? Someone asked if that was a warm white. That particular I, white is bones, the bones line, um, skeleton bone. So yeah, it's it's a little. It's on it's the, all it is. It's a it's a little off white it's to not the a yellow pure white, side. No. It's not pure white. This bleached linen is actually a little bit off, but it's it's a lot whiter white. 
So to answer and, your uh, question, Rainbow, yes, that is a warm white. Let me see what you can see. You can see under here. Okay. And some of these we're sort of actually painting in as well as actually trying to dry brush. So again, we're just going to try and give the contrast, the focus, catch some of these low areas. He's got a lot of little horns that stick out. Doesn't look like he'd be a very fun, cuddly person or entity. Well, they keep, Although uh, I think I've dated a few girls. They've like mentioned this. in chat that they want to see a speed paint off between you and Anne. <laughs> I don't know if Anne has. I definitely, I mean, she's just a whole different level higher. I can't. I'm just, uh, I do it. I want to have fun. And when I want to paint at a competition level, I'll, I have fun doing that, but I can't do it every time. I'll, sometimes it's just like, that would be a cool one to paint, or I need it. Nowadays, it's a lot more out of necessity is when I'm painting something um, than it is for uh, recreation. But even when I'm doing that, I want to enjoy it. It's not, if it becomes work, well, then, then Anne can do it. So, trying to stay near the... Speaking of which, uh, next week's episode during ReaperCon, uh, I believe it's going to happen a little bit later for, uh, for Anne's. It should be Anne. But we also talked about bringing some other people in potentially. Um, but when Anne shoots her episode next week, it'll be at about 3.30, I believe, is what Anne and I discussed today. Okay. So. Now, are y'all shooting it at ReaperCon? Because it's, yes. it's Wednesday. And Wednesday, well, then Wednesday's set up. Uh, Tuesday is set up. No, Tuesday's set up, but the show doesn't open technically till Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. So Wednesday afternoon, I bet it, you'll, you'll probably shoot it here, I guess, I'm guessing. Oh, uh, no, all of our equipment will be there. Be up there? So we're going to be shooting it up there. Now, we talked about, because the artist will be there. We talked right. about doing some, some other stuff with okay. some artists. Could be a, a, a jamboree. Well, those are all like high-level Ron and Adrian and those kind of meetings. I'm never allowed to be part of those. There was that was my pity comment. Okay. If you want to get that a little bit closer, we can see it. Okay. Just a little closer. To me. It's sort of weird. Like this, I have to paint it facing y'all, and I can't see it, so I'm having to like look over the side because I want y'all to see what is, is happening. Uh, don't worry, you not being able to see it, I don't think is going to impact the quality. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I see. Well, you know, someone's got to do it. Yeah. It's a, it's a thankless job, but, you know. But somebody's got to do it? Somebody's got to do it. Yeah. All right. Oh, Rainbow, he, so when he paints, he just uh, he applies paint to the miniature. He, he's not doing it based on a light source. No, no, yeah. Not for something like this. Not when you have to have it done in an hour to be on a dungeon board. Uh, to to hopefully go for a TPK. Exactly. He he wants this on the uh, on the board within an hour just to kill his uh, his players. Yeah. But it's sort of just something that, and I wish I guess I don't know what you'd call it, but anyway, just a technique I've used for I worked on years ago. Actually, when we were first starting Reapers, when I had to sort of hone this in because we needed lots of painted models fast and they needed to look reasonably good. And uh, this was a very easy way to get relatively very good results. What's my time? Okay. I'm acting like I have a time budget here, but I really don't. I'm just sort of like going, oh my God. It's gonna be like the, the uh, oh, what was that chef show I used to like to watch out of Japan. Out of Japan? Oh, Iron Chef? Iron Chef. Oh, Wait, yeah. I watch that all the time still to this day. The Japanese one? The yeah. older Japanese well, one? Well, I mean, it's... it's. There's well, Iron I know Chef they America, did like an American version yeah. with uh, William Shatner. And uh, and it's, that was really sort of weak, I thought. I think they still use the chairman from Japan, though. Um, with him eating his yeah. bell peppers or so, capsicum. I watch both of them still, but I also really like cooking shows. Oh, I'm not really, I don't care about the cooking show. I just like watching that show. That's like watching the NFL and, you know, with the commentators and, and the camera work. And uh, I guess it's a very, it was just, it was an amazing show for me to watch. I don't even watch that much TV, but things like that will catch my 
weirdness bone, I guess. Max Powers wants to know how long ago you watched that. Long time ago. Probably the last time he actually had cable in his house, which has been yeah, quite been a long time. time. Uh, 15 years ago, I guess. I left off when they were trying to reboot it uh, into a U.S. show, and they had, uh, uh, I don't know their names, uh, several famous U.S. chefs versus several famous Japanese chefs. And... Uh, well, thanks for the gifted sub, thing. Now, right now, if I watch, it's going to be, if I if they have episodes going in Z Nation. Uh, I like that one. Yeah, actually, I do, I do think Alton Brown has always been the U.S. host for that particular show. There was um, something early, early on, though, where William Shatner was in there. I remember that. He may have been a judge. They, they bring no, in he was running it. It was like a, a, it was an episode. Maybe it was a guest episode oh. and not the regular. Because it was the kind of show that I would just, when I'd catch it, usually in hotels when I was sort of bored and stuck there, it's when I'd look for stuff like that. I'm not that big a fan, but I do enjoy the show. Okay. So I picked out a lot of this. Let's see if we can see. As you can see, it's really starting to... If you bring it a little closer, you can see it in focus. There, there we go. go. So we're picking out uh, a lot of and actually sort of really filling it in. As I said, we could call it quits and call him the ghost demon. But uh, anyway. Oh, Zip Zap ironed it out for us. They said that Shatner was the chairman for the, t uh, the pilot episode. Ah, okay. I just know that one of the U.S. chefs jumped on the table after they'd won or jumped up on the table and... One of the Japanese chefs is going to like take him out for disrespecting his tools and the art. But you had to have drama somewhere. All right. Okay, that gets him to that level. And then what we're going to do now is, uh, what I'm going to do now is catch up here, these high areas. Oops, there we go, that we talked about. Let me get some more paint. up in this level and more because it's the, the leading edge I guess and so it gives us more of a structure that's less uh, shaded or broken up and the same with his uh, I've missed the last episode to, to of, of Anne how is she doing with her it's starting to come together it's pretty cool it? actually Sort of hard to get in there and do it. I can't really decide. I'm sort of playing around with it because I'm hurrying. And we only get one chance because they'll all show up and it's time to start. And you don't want them to see it when they get there. You got to have it hidden. And then they just spend all night griping. Okay. Are we still having paint club this week? Do you know? Uh, I doubt it. I doubt paint club's here because that's normally Saturday. It's about 40 or 50 people. They should be up at ReaperCon, I would assume. Well, no, no. This coming Saturday, I think. Oh, this coming going. Saturday, yeah. yes. Yeah, ReaperCon's next week, not this. I would mm -hmm. think so. Yeah. Uh, Reaper or Scott B. We're actually giving away the miniature that Ed is painting in his hand right now. All right. And as you, we can see, I'm just picking out the high areas and giving them a little bit extra oomph. A little bit more white. Also, to uh, it, yes. it is it's now active, by the way, guys. So hashtag free since we decided to do the uh, the miniature. It, it's now active. So feel free free to uh, flood the, yeah definitely do yeah it. flood the chat with hashtag free. Remember only hashtag free, nothing else. Otherwise, it won't count it. Yeah. 
So when I'm painting this stuff is, again, I just want to reiterate, as you can see, I'm just hitting the high areas and, and not really worrying about staying in the lines. That's part of the equation is, is that the piece itself, I'm hiding all of my sins, so to speak, in the black areas. So I'm not worried about sharp lines or anything like that. I just want to hit these so when we pull it together, it comes off. Which uh, white are you using right now, Ed? This is the uh, Bones Skeleton Bone 9435. 9435. And it is an off-white. It's definitely got a, uh, as you can see, well, here's a stark white sheet of paper, and you can see it's got some, definitely has some yellow in it. Uh, kind of a thing. Which, a, a, a little secret I always used was uh, painting pure white, especially when I was painting Napoleon, a lot of historical stuff, or anything really, it works anywhere, is painting pure white on a small model. It really always to me was, it's very hard, it just never looked natural, it never did anything. So even my most purest white that I would use would end up still being something like um, this bones or a, a linen out of the core colors, something that was still off-white, you know. Um, and that allowed me to pull stuff together doing that. All I right. believe I saw your last email, Greek. Was this the, the one concerning stream stuff? Because as of currently, we, we're still trying to work out the logistics on when and how and where we're going to set up an area for you guys to, to paint on stream. Yeah, I think um, wasn't the plan supposed to be when we're not, you're scheduling it, so correct. when we're not on, they're on. Right. Well, when we have we're not on, stream. we're always going to be live with maybe someone else. Uh, yeah, yeah, someone else painting or something. Now, it's probably going to be a static setup, so there won't be much provided. You'll probably still want to, to bring, you know, anything you would need. Not cameras or anything, but. And Collins walks in with my lunch. Thanks, Collins. Yeah. Any time. Late as usual. I found you some paintbrushes around the shop. I know, we already had a discussion. If you want to know what it said, you'll have to go back and watch on the YouTube. I brought my own. But don't watch the first five minutes because we didn't have sound for the first five minutes. Yeah, so it was an epic failure there it with was. no redundancies. I told him to do defrag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to defrag my computer. Oh, lunch today is a Euro. From a yep. local, from a local Greek place, yummy. Really, where is? Oh, where is it? It's very, very, very tasty. They opened it next to um, Papa John's and Chili's. That sounds like that only sounds like uh, every other corner in Denton. Let's let's get a little bit closer. Yeah. That sounds like a solid plan, Greek. Go ahead and uh, yeah, go with that. North of um, Bucky's. Oh, okay. On the highway? Yeah, I don't care. I'll find it. All right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. You got it on the tape. I hit it on the tape. All right. So. Rhonda likes yummies. By the way, Ed, in case you're curious. I haven't been to one. I'm going to try it out. Oh, yeah. Rhonda's watching you, by the way, and cringing, I imagine. I'm sure. She's probably over there in the corner with a, a poker about an inch from her eye going, if I turn it off, I won't lose my sight. All right, now this is where we find out if we ate our Cheerios correctly this morning. All right. Hmm. Do we have an empty bottle? We yeah. can get you one. Yeah, do that real quick. And while he's looking, I'll play with this one. I'll make me an empty bottle. No idea what that was. Uh, Fryerick says he looks like he got hit with a bag of flour, like the uh, the oldest anti-invisible trick. Yeah, that works. There we go. Done. There we go. You can't see. I've got a water cup here on the side of the table. But... Oh, you don't paint big minis, Rhonda? Is that true? Does Rhonda not paint big minis? I don't know. See, she would imply that she uh, she doesn't paint large minis. I mean, I can think of her dice people. I can think of several just incredible paint jobs, but I've never really thought about them uh, size-wise.
Okay, I'll show you what I'm doing here in just a second when we're done. As you can see, I'm adding water to this bottle. What I did is in the bottom of that bottle is I put, um, let's see, that there, which would be heraldic red, 9402. Two. So this was the darkest red that I saw there. Uh, no, it's not. This isn't even uh Anyway, it's a dark red. Now, part of the thing is, is, is you want to do, I, part of where I came up or started going down this road was the idea of, well, I want to do something red, but I want to stay red. I don't want to turn pink. And so you can't really, for me at least, it was very hard to lighten a color like red into something. But anyway. So now what I'm going to do is test this a few times. And I've got a ceramic. Y'all can see that. Of course, I need a pokey. Michael, you know where the pokey ended up? I didn't find it. Um, no, I don't really know how to explain it to you. That's really like a conversation you probably should have with your parents. I know. Um, I did. They told me to ask you. <laughs> Not for me. All right. All right. Uh, the short answer is no. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I've really watered down this paint. It's almost like about an airbrush consistency. Uh, it's not a wash, as you can see. It's still coming up as a paint. But I'm going to play with it a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it's close. And to test it before I go all insane here, so I'm going to pick a back spot, like here on his tail. And what I'm going to do is just go in and paint this on. Hey, Dave's back. I can hear his car. Uh, they want to know if we're selling pokies at ReaperCon this year? Yes. Yes, we are, Dr. Bob. At least that's what I heard earlier. Yeah, you picked them up and uh, John was casting them this morning. There we go. Are we going to be selling the pokers on our website? No. No? Because they, yeah, they're too, they would cost too much to do oh. all of that because then it'd have to go through distribution, retail discounts, all sorts of stuff. Sorry, uh, Shotokami. They, so. they, they said we should sell it. Now, so. what I'm doing here is you can, s if it will show... You can see where it's coming through, and that's what we're looking for is that wash through. But it's not coming through really as dark as I'd hoped. So, I don't see a darker red, I see a more vivid red. So Rhonda, what would you add? I'll, I'll wait for her response. Yeah. Otherwise, just wing it. Just wing it, yeah, yeah. that's what I'll do, I'll just wing it. Um, they wanna know what the the, the estimated cost of a pokey tool will be? Well, we're tooling up. We have a plan and we're having it tooled up right now to be able to do a plastic injected handle around them. That The cost right now is, is that they're done in metal and that every time the mold is spun, we have to actually by hand load in all of the little uh, pins. And then we cast a form around those pins. Uh, and it's just, it's a very high labor. So I wouldn't even begin to I know that whatever we're selling them for at ReaperCon is probably a loss. Well, uh, what about what about pokey tools for giveaways potentially? We could do that because that's that? usually less than what do we give away to what do we do at ReaperCon Live? I mean at Reaper Live is twelve. Uh, roughly now, yes, eleven yeah. to twelve. It's more of a volume issue. We we end up having to to, to manufacture stuff. In, in a very big volume, and that's where things like that are handmade like that would fall apart. All right, so let me pour this over here and see what we ended up with. Yeah, that shifted. Uh, this shifted the red a little bit uh, more Ron to a fire, less fire engine and more dark, huh? Rhonda said the darkest bones red is dragon red. Yeah. I could have found that out. <laughs> um, sorry, Rhonda. Apparently, he didn't need you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rhonda. I can't wait to see you next week, by the way. So now we're going to do a second test because we'll be able to salvage that area. And I'm going to go and yeah, and see what I, what I did is I just added some black to this. But it was very little black. Um, black is a very powerful color when you add it. And it can do all sorts of fun things. But uh, so now I'm getting it. But it's still, adding that much paint sort of shifted my water a little bit. So I'm going to... Add some more water to this. And that's what you're trying to do is sort of test it. Since this isn't bottled, I guess we could make Ed's wash line or something, bottle it. But uh, yeah, there we go. I'll get it out here. As you can see, it's holding against that white. But two coats is also going to cause me to lose my uh, black background. 
as much. But that's why we did it back here on the tail and not really the part. If the party's looking at the tail, the battle's already over. Is that it? Oh. And Michael to the rescue found a dragon red. That's good. Is that so? Yeah. Well, we like Rhonda too. Hey, Rhonda, I was told to tell you that we like you too. That's from Collins. Wow. Way to make it sound like you don't. Yeah. No, I, I have Thanks for that. No, I can I feel that, like that icy hand come out from under the bus. No, Rhonda's awesome. In fact, if she is there, she's one of the people that Ann had considered uh, asking to come on to this the next episode with us. Oh. Um, if she's there at Wednesday at 3.30, which I assume she will be. 3.30, to 4.30? Uh, no, 3.30. Oh, Ann has to, be, has to be later. Oh, all right. So then I come back with, if, as needed with water, and I'll just water it down a little bit. Till I get it to poke through what I want. And what I'm looking for is more of a balance. The, where the white is, obviously it's going to be red, but in the lower areas, I need it to show up darker, sort of like, let me see if I get that in the, there we go. I'll just lean over here. Oops, too thin. Actually, we can go ahead and let you, we'll probably tell you guys about this tomorrow, but, and the following week, well, we're actually going to have uh, ribbons and stickers to give out at the, uh, for Reaper Live. Yeah, I did. I saw them. I, put, I got some for the archive earlier. Yeah, the, earlier. the stickers are pretty cool. And they'll say Reaper Live on them, so. There we go. I'm pressing forward rather than fixing my back. As soon as that dries out a little bit, I'll be able to put some more on it. Uh, Max Powers wants to know, if there's going to be a last day to buy the pizza Wednesday night tickets, do you know? When uh, the no, last no. Day is? You could literally be there uh, Wednesday at five o'clock, whatever, and get whatever walk-up tickets you want to do and whatever for pizza or whatever. So if you're like driving in and afraid you're going to get caught, don't buy them in advance. Just wait till you get there. They don't get marked up or anything. They're the same price. And Adrian always makes sure we get buku. I haven't decided what we're going to do to give away the ribbons so, yet, Doctor uh, Bob. But uh, it may be like a trivia thing. So if I have a question about Reaper Live, for those of us that are really big fans, mm -hmm. you, you should be able to answer. It won't so be too hard. This is the color I'm looking for up here. But down here, you can see it really sort of washes out. That's because I added too much water to my brush, and it turned it into an actual wash. But I can come back with this paint. I mean, it really is all a wash. I just don't want it to be a really wispy wash. Oh, it's definitely a wash. Yeah. Well, that's the only way I know to... Get this thing done fast. What's the time? Man. You have 15 minutes, I got actually. 15 minutes. This could be the failure. More painy, less talky? Yes, at this point. I don't want to ship a, uh, a half-done mini to somebody. I'll finish it up. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I'll get it to some point to ship. For sure. Let's see. I don't want to get... Now, if you're at ReaperCon and you get a chance, go to James Wapple's booth. He is like the ultimate person for this kind of painting, this sort of, whatever you want to call it, style or technique. He just literally gets in there and starts going wild with colors and the paint and how to work it and mixing and just. Uh, Reaper Dave chimed in. Uh -oh. and, uh, I said, OMG, you're not using that brush, are you? Uh -oh. oh, that's right. Yeah, he's my brush aficionado. We're going to do a show of Dave calling... Uh, being the color commentator for a uh, painting session. And I won't fix that later, I'll fix that later. And kind of as an inside joke, uh, Mr. Scott G, I might even ask people what the email address is they're supposed to email if they won something, since Ron can't remember 90% of the time. I should be his clutch play and his wingman and cover him on those 90%. But it's, it's more fun to just... Just sit, sit there and watch? Yes, it is. With that blank stare? Yep. I'm real good at that blank stare. All right, so I'm running out of paint, so i got to add some more. Go back to this. We already know that was too light, so we're going to give it a little black. 
And to show you what I'm doing, just about, I mean, really nothing in black. And I just go over here and mix it all up. This is where practice pays off if you practice, but man, I just didn't have the time. This would be the point when I know that they're heading over here to, to play in the game tonight and I'm woefully unprepared that I go, you know, I should have just left and called him a gray drag or gray demon, a ghost demon. By the way, what is Reaper Dave doing watching this? Isn't he supposed to be working? Yeah, it is kind of in the middle of the day, yeah. Dave. What, what you doing? He's working sales tax earlier. And scan. Oh, you know, now I understand why he's watching. <laughs> if he was watching that or doing that stuff. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you just need a break. As an accountant, he lives for that. Not really. He screams a lot. I was about to say, it does not sound fun. When it all works, it is, but it's a general rule now. So I'm trying to keep this in so you can see it. So now he's getting, basically, when we're getting through here, he's getting this sort of meaty, mottled, red kind of a look. And we did it with a house brush. I wonder if Rhonda's still conscious or if she's just fainted. As no, she actually, uh, so listen to this. She described um, what James Wapple was. Uh -huh. She said that it's if you take all of Anne's artistic approach and Ed's have fun and get her done approach, throw them in a blender and a dash of, of weird and a lot of hair. Yeah, that would be James. And then Doug Sunseth said, uh, Reaper does not condone throwing either James Wapple or hair in a blender. I don't know, man. You should have been around here earlier today. Place has its moments. Dave, we can't we can't throw James in a blender. Yeah. Uh, there was a person here earlier that I would have thrown in a blender and not even thought twice about it. He's probably watching the show right now too. Oh, cryptic. <laughs> and why is he watching the show? Because he's not doing his job. Who, Dave? I'm smiling. No, no, no. It's not Dave. I'm just making that. I'm smiling. But they can't see my face, so I can be Mr. Grimm here. You wanna you wanna bring the mini down? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know what? Y'all need to say to that because camera. I get so focused. I'm sitting here going and I'm talking. This is why I'm tossing you questions today. Yeah. Okay. See now I'm feeling the rush. I might ask for an extra couple of minutes. Don't have an excuse for him. I could come up with a good excuse. Norwegian Gadget Man says that we should uh, we should come up with some large stickers that say I would rather be painting. You know, bumper stickers. Oh yeah, that's a neat idea. We do have window stickers, white vinyl. I put them on the cars, and then uh, there's a few. Now, I will say we have limited ribbons and stickers for Reaper Live. So if you guys do want to get a ribbon, I would suggest earlier in the show rather than later. Ribbon for? Uh, ribbon for just being a ribbon. Oh, you mean all of the different badges or ribbons yeah, yeah. that so they put on their Yeah, you know people collect badge? those ribbons? Yes, we have one that says Reaper Live this year. Okay. What do they have to do to get it? Uh, I'm thinking some Reaper Live trivia of some sort. Oh, God. Maybe. We'll see. That almost sounds scary. I could just be nice and give one out. Or, you know, we could have fun with it. There's a few of them. There's the Edism one. I don't remember how it works, but I think you're just supposed to go up and tell them that I gave you an Edism. I like what uh, Silverthorne said. They said a, a broom is basically an oversized dry brush. So really, why did you stop at the house brush? Why didn't you go to broom? I could have. If I had to paint a bunch of these at once, don't think I wouldn't hesitate to put them all into a vat. Dr. Bob wants to know what you're going to choose for the uh, metal areas. What colors? Trying to go, uh, I originally thought silvers, and I thought that's not going to work. So I've got several goals here, some coppers, and uh, 
time wise might not let me get there. I'm gonna keep going. I mean, I've I've got stuff to do, but I like doing this, so I'll sit here and do this and until we get it done. And uh, if you can't stay, then you'll be able to watch it on YouTube. But what I'll be doing, if you do have to leave, if we don't get to that, is I go in and I pick out, I'll actually paint like the bracers black. And, uh, and then more or less repeat the thing. And then dry brush, I'll just put a, get a bunch of bronzes on there. The one I keep thinking about are these, uh, the big things he's wielding, the big pointy objects. What to do with those. Now this is just about... Hey, no pressure, Ed, but you've got eight minutes. Yeah, no, I've already, I'm already making my excuses, dude. We're going to keep going. I hope you got nowhere to go. Uh, I mean, I think I get paid to do this, but I'll ask Dave. Yeah, you need to ask Dave. I think he that. gets paid to watch. Oh, that's true. Well played. Ed, and I can see this on my camera. Are you splattering red paint all over my table? If, if that's going to worry you, you've got a big, big problem. Oh, boy. And Michael's one's got to clean it all up. I don't know what you're worried about. All right, that's fine. Works for me. <coughs> all right. Let me see. I think I got everything in there. No, some up in there. So at this point, no, missed a hand right there. Boy, I'm just now running out of red stuff. Looks like you missed a wingtip too there, by the way. Oh, don't. You painted that straight on the table. No, I lifted up slightly. I, I have video proof that you didn't. In fact, I could see it left over on the Just table. for that, I'm going to go drive the forklift around your car. Please don't do that. All right. So that's enough red. So if we can see here, at this end in particular, this is sort of what in my brain I was looking for, just sort of meat. I guess, or how, I don't really know how to describe it, but as you can see, I'll add how fast, but how it's just sort of all this model low areas. And so as this whole thing dries, that's what we're gonna get is these lower contrasts. And then the, the little trick is said, if you get, you mix off, test little areas, but don't hesitate to add a little water. But as you saw on that one side, it went too fast. So this point we would let it dry and then I would go back in with black. I'll, I'll at least clean this brush. I gotta go down to the paint department to clean those big brushes. So, find something uh, that works there. Dark Knight says you should move my car with the forklift. Just, just, just to move do it. it somewhere, yeah. Yeah. It's not a smart car. I don't know that you could do that. That's one thing we have around here is a lot of cars. Okay. So, at this point, what I would be doing, or I am going to do, but we got time. For those that are going to leave, I'll go ahead and do one area and sort of show you. Uh, I'd come back, now that it's dry, and just in these bottom areas of something like that, I'm going to pick out this black. And it's basically, what we'll do is, is that when it's done, is I'm going to hit it with a quick dry brush of a, a, an off yellow, a brown, and I just want to be able to whack it and, and move on real quickly. So we would come back and hit these. Uh, literally just a big sink, Dr. Bob. Uh, what is really it? Really big sink, actually. Uh, they said, he asked what, uh, what does the paint department use to wash brushes? They said high, high tech stuff or just a big sink? No, it's a big three, three, t three tub commercial sink. Okay. So like you'd see there, and then also too, it's not all dry in all areas. Uh, I'll wait for it to dry a little bit more. And for speed purposes, again, we can't, don't have time for it to dry totally. Because I'm going to want to move back down in there, and I'm, he's got his hooves. And, I mean, this is sacrilege, but I mean, even though the paint's wet, the black is such a strong color, it'll go right back over that and turn it dark enough for our purposes, even though it might want to bleed together. So, there's that. Now, uh, it appears we have these large talons on the end of the tail. So we're going to do the same thing there. Quindy, Quindy LaRue said you moved uh, <laughs> uh, from painting with a house brush to uh, just finger painting. Yeah. yeah, you can finger paint. 
fingers, you can, don't be ever afraid to try anything. I'm not kidding. If you need something that needs to, you know, if I have anything, okay. Like right here on his top of his head, it's still wet. Okay, and it's going into his horns. I mean, just take your finger and literally just go right in there. I mean, you're going to end up all over the place. But what's going to happen is, is I'm going to pull that paint out and And he's actually down. finger painting, boys. Yeah, so there you go, actual finger painting. You should never be scared to try anything once because you can always repaint it. Also, could you move that a little closer so we can see it in detail? There we go. So can we see? Yeah, well, it's always this weird angle. There we go. So we've got a belt. Obviously, he's a fashionable demon. Has a little pouch for something. I guess he puts... It's like that that little that little painting show. Well, right here is his little pouch, and it's hidden, and we're just not going to tell anybody it's there. So, and he's got uh, horns on his back. What is that name? Bob Bob Ross. What's his Bob name? Ross, yeah. It's a, it's a happy little demon. It's a happy little demon. Yes, right down in there. So he's got his little pouch for when he goes out with his buddies. He can put his little Pokemon cards in there. What? It's 2019. Why is he collecting Pokemon cards? These are the physical Pokemon Go's. I mean, they might not have the internet in hell, and they still want to play Pokemon and Go. That's true. And I don't even know if he's in hell. I don't know where he is. You should tell everyone here that you, uh, you're you an avid Pokemon Go player. I am. I am an avid la Poke Pokemon Go. I'm level 40. Took forever to do it. Wow. Is that the max level? Right now. I'm actually surprised I made it. Usually when I'm playing a game, by the time I get to the max level, that's about the time they get around and say, hey, here's another 10. You know? Now, now they want your friend code. My friend code? Yeah. Uh, you'd have to look it up. You can, I don't care. You can get it to him. Uh, don't touch your phone. It's covered in paint. Oh, you know whatever. What? Never mind. wonder if we can pick out his security code. Oh, you actually have one. Oh, here. I didn't think you did. Oh, I was going to say it out, and I thought, no, maybe I shouldn't do that. Put that out on the Internet. Not that everything else isn't already there. So another thing to note here, I'll try and get in there, is I'm doing the same thing here. Now, I'm not going to go back and repaint the whole thing. But really, all I'm focused on is the areas around the hands. It's black lining in a lazy way on a model which is an old technique. I just I used to call it, I used to attribute it to the British style of painting when I was first starting, because that's where I always saw it was on British figures, black lining. But here it just adds depth and contrast. I don't know who invented it. And since it's Wednesday, I don't care. Uh, did you find it? I'll catch up on one. Yeah, Collins has decided to catch Pokemon. So, yeah, yeah, I catch. Right there, I had to do it. Yeah. Or I call it one of your, like I helped your request out and everything. Dancing with Clowns. All right. So, again, I'll put it in. So, as you see, I'm not going to worry about the upper blade. It's just I want this part here and then these areas around there. So, it's sort of the same again on the horn. And with all this mottled, weird paint, you know, it's not layered, it's not, it's not pretty looking, I guess, in that sense. It's real easy if you, it hides a lot of your, your indulgences. So when you don't exactly get on the line, you go over the line a little bit, it's not something that glares at you because there's everything else glaring at you. Is it that hard to operate? Are you, what, are you typing it in? Yeah. All right, guys, I'm about to send uh, Ed's friend code in chat here. Okay. All right. And there's the friend code. Yeah. All right. So, obviously, I still got inside his mouth. Uh, for the face, I'm at this point only going to worry about just his mouth with this small brush. And then we'll go size down and we'll knock his eyes and nostrils. I wonder if y'all can see that it's actually still wet. But that's the best thing about black. I'm 
So, Michael, how are things? Oh, you don't have a mic. Never mind. I was going to ask you how it's going down at the house there with the... All right. With that, that. Now... Dave said that was your social security number, by the way. Oh, okay. Probably is. I thought it was kind of a large number for it to be yours, though. I don't know. <laughs> there, there, there are special smaller? people. There are people out there with special numbers. You're trying to put me into some world. Somewhere in the three digits. Yeah. I can remember. It's like a quiz. The other day, Brother Dave asked me, he goes, you remember the phone number to your house from back when we were growing up? I said, yeah. So I rattled it off. It's amazing because you had to dial it about a bajillion times. Now we're talking about weird technology that no one knows about. My parents never really had a landline growing up, just my grandparents. Really? Yeah, we didn't have cell phones either. We just didn't have any way for uh, people to get a hold of us. You had to, like, drive out to our house. So yours was the house to, like, stalk and break into? Uh, basically. Well, I mean, my dad had lots and lots of guns. But, He's in uh, Texas. Yeah, because it's Texas. Why not? Have you heard about the Texodus? Everybody's moving here. Oh, I thought you were going to suggest it was the other way around. But yes, I have heard of that. That's true. It could be true you know, that way. Yeah. Let's be honest. Texas is the, the best country in the Union. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, oh, we got his bracers. Knock that bracer off. Got this one. It's the weird part when you got four arms, you have multiple bracers. So when I'm playing some RPG, it'd be better to have this guy so I can keep tagging jewels in it. Actually, Silverthorn, my grandfather had a rotary dial phone until I was about 15. Um, my grandmother made him get rid of it, uh, but that thing was interesting. It was that, that the dial on it was so heavy. I remember that as a kid. It was kind of hard for me to dial when I was young. That was my grandmother had one of those where you had to go all the yes, way. You had to go yes. shh and then let go of it. It's where, where you were hoping they had a lot of high numbers in their number. Um, yeah. But no, no, you ended up with a lot of ones and twos and threes. And I just remember playing it and I figured out that I could sit there and play with the thing and not have to, uh, as long as I didn't pick up the receiver. Just sit there and listen to it do its thing. Usually there wasn't a whole lot to do at your grandmother's house. <laughs> Buglip said you can't butt dial a rotary phone very easily. That's very true there. Amazingly enough, most people don't even know what a rotary is. Oh, well, that's cool. Norwegian Gadget Man said they had a, uh, a rotary phone until last year oh. when they had to cancel their analog line. My nephew, when he was going through his... I'm smarter than everybody teens. Got us rear and grounded. And uh, and his phone taken away. So uh, Brother Dave still had, at least it was a push button, old push button phone that had been hanging there on the wall for, I guess, forever. And apparently it worked. And so when he got off grounding, Dave didn't give him his phone back at the same time. It's like, well, now we're going to work through this in steps. And so uh, it was like, well, uh, he goes, well, I need to call my friend. I need my phone back. He goes, there's a phone there on the wall. And, of course, I go, look, I'll show you how to use it. I know how to use it. You know, he's being all full of eyes. And sure enough, I said, well, good, then you can show me. I sat there and watched him mess with that thing forever. <laughs> but uh, I finally felt sorry. I went over and pushed some numbers and showed him how it worked. All right, that one, that one, that one. Damn, there's another one back there. Four arms, gotcha. I'm sure glad this gives somebody something to do on Wednesdays. It gets me out of what I was having to do. Which is what? Oh. Uh, filling out permits for the city. Uh, so I, I assumed you just sat in your office and found ways to fill up your desktop with random icons. I wish that's what I did. That'd be an awesome job. Uh-oh. Uh, the king himself is here. Uh-oh, he is. Hello. Mr. Hawkins. That's that's Ron, by the way. I was told that there was a you just walked a crime the scene occurring Ron. here. A debacle of painting. I was told there was a disaster of painting. Oh, it's easily that. 
that you had a, ha- a house paintbrush and all kinds of stuff. Oh yeah, and he's finger painting. Look at and my, I finger look at my table, it. Ron. Look at my but table. But it's starting to, uh, it's it's starting to pull together. I don't know from that distance. Put it, put it up on clothes. It's on the tape. So see, it's starting to come together for as fast as it is. I know Ron's, he's just not impressed. Ron's a tough guy. I mean, he sees all the good painter stuff. I was told there was, told there was paint over the walls and excrement and vomit and all kinds of things. No, that was before it happened. No, we got it cleaned before, up in advance. Before the painting started. Yeah, Plenty that was before. No, I think he looks cool. That's a cool model. I'd almost be happy to put it in my collection. Almost. I'll notice that almost, that little back slap. Actually, though, Ron does probably have the coolest job here. All the cool painted stuff shows up. He gets to see it first. All the greens back when we have those and we still get. I get to see them first, but they don't get to stay in my office. Then they, they fly away. I don't yeah. get to keep them. I just get to look at them first. There we go. Okay. Carry on with your mess. Thanks, sir. Thanks, Ron. Looking good. All right. I really uh, need his job. Good. Grim Grim had an idea that we should give away your phone to the second runner up, signed, covered in paint. It's like guy's covered in paint. Yeah. That's one of the last people on the planet to get tagged with it. All right. So at this point, uh what we've got is I've gone back and just hit the black next to where it's gotta be. I did miss right there. But to show you all this last little bit right in the camera. I get it turned. Okay, he's got up here just some more horns. And all we're literally doing is grabbing these horns like this. And just giving them black on the top. So again, we're not, it's a design to be done fast. And we want it to look good. If they're going to pick it up and analyze it and critique it, well, then they can go paint their own, you know? They're lucky they got it to have it painted. So, now with that said, now while that's drying, we got to pick, pick on something else. So, what I'm going to pick on would be these two, I don't know what they are. They almost look organic, like bone. Uh, I don't want to do them. They're not going to be steel. So, I think, well, I mean, they could be steel, but I'd want them to be super hot. Actually, uh, Apple Knees, he... he painted some of my uh, Warhammer army this way and they they were surprisingly well painted um, yeah. and he did them in 15 minutes and it looked like chaos until he was done and then at the end you go voila yeah, yeah then then I realized that he did in 15 minutes in fact I was painting hours. GW figures in some of the early episodes of Reaper Live that is true which Those I got some GW emails figures. about like what are you doing blah blah I was like hey figures a figure man have fun alright now this I really don't know so we're going to wing it but again, we're looking for contrast. I went over this with the uh, a lot in the. Uh, well, that's true. We could have wet blended a lot of this fast too. Greek in the other, uh, suggests you could use scorched metal metallic. Actually, I like the idea of that. That stuff looks pretty good. It does. I don't have any though. I don't think we got any unless. And Michael's not here to go get some. Oh, he's that is here. a great color for that. I hear him walking around. Maybe he heard it. So, you gonna get some? Yes. Okay, get the. Uh, it's part of a tribe. Get all three of them. We'll play with them. Colin. So while he's gone, I'll run over there and. Uh, there's got to be a button I could jump up and push, but I won't. Now, this is more or less the James Wapple side, where you're going like, I really have no idea where this is going, but we're going to have fun getting there. All right. So we'll let that dry, and we'll come back to that. And now we'll work that gold. And that's sort of what you're trying to do on a large model like this, is while this part's drying, we're now up here. And when this is drying, we're going to go over here. And when this is done, we'll come back to here. Uh, let's see what we've got here to choose from. Dragon Copper. That's always a fun color. Yes, sir. God, everybody's coming through here. Just checking to see if you're done yet, because I need the keys to your car so I can move it. i got to get the truck out. Oh, uh, here you go. Here are the keys. 
There we go. And I'm not done yet. That was Matt Clark coming to steal my car keys. All right. Volcanic Orange did that. I like this. I wish I could see all his text, see what's going on. I think we'll play with that a little bit. Oh, wait, he's going to get that uh, metallic. Oh, we're going to throw it in there. Copper's always a fun color. It's really odd to be sitting here painting and talking and not seeing the uh, scrolling text board. So now I really do feel like I'm just sitting here talking to myself. Now down here, again to expedite, I'm using a copper and it'll work well with the black and the red. And I'm just hitting in a, in a I guess a very thick dry brush or whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of paint on the, the brush. These items. Did you find that color? Yep. All right. I forgot that part. Okay. It's the whole triad. The whole triad. The whole triad, nothing but the triad. So triad you. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, we've really got some there. You missed it. Everybody's coming in. Matt came in, had to get my keys. Probably find my car upside down now. I didn't say that. Twice. By the way, I really like that Gene's uh, logo of old Ed ass, old ass Ed story. That was cool. All right. Yeah, I plan on doing a little bit more with it, so we'll, right. we'll have fun. So we have. Oh, okay. These don't have much red in them, but that'll work. Scorched metal. So it's a triad. We have a scorched metal. Yeah, if you want to show the number of the triad, too. I brought the whole package. Or, yeah. Gun metal blue. Well, that's sort of going in a weird direction. Oh, they're not a triad then. It's just uh, it says oh, the colored is. metallics. Oh, yeah. That's the triad that it's a part of. Part of, yeah. It'd make for a good, yeah, especially with the copper. This will contrast well with the copper. Yeah, it's got enough. Very good choice. Who had that choice? Who scorched? Oh, that would be Greek Nikos. Greek Nikos. Thank you very much, Greek. All right. Yeah. So we'll go with this. And that'll be ending up because I didn't have time to plan it out, obviously. We're going to go with this scorched metal on the blades. And then we'll do some copper and some fun. Is that a good? Yeah, it's got a good. Yeah, this is actually a very, very good choice. I can play with those. So we'll do this up here the same way. And this is why we didn't worry about painting it black, because we're actually actually going to paint it this whole color. But then when we get down into this area, this is back where we're just doing a, just whacking it, I guess. That's a good paint term. I don't know if Andrew would approve of that. Just got to whack some paint on. I can get. To, I can hear her lecture now. Okay. All right. So we've got that. We've got that. Oh. We can play with this now a little bit more. I still like that orange. So 
So are there any other questions? I was telling when you weren't here, and I can't see the screen, it's sort of strange. I was in here talking. It's like you're just talking to yourself. I'll have plenty of time to do that when I get into... <laughs> I'm sure they didn't mind too much. Yeah. Um, and no, there's no right. no questions as of currently. They're, they're you know, talking about our pains and how you shouldn't eat them. Or you unless shouldn't. you're bug lips, then you do eat them. Eat them? Yeah, eat the paints. Oh, and drink it. Yeah, that too. I tell you what was funny is that sometimes for me, when we're on the paint production line, when I'd be out there helping out or something years ago, some of these colors just really look like they'd be great flavors to drink. Okay. All right. Hello, Elements. Are you new to the stream? Welcome all new people, of course. Follow, please, if you, uh, if you haven't already. Um, subscribe if you want to. That's purely optional. Yeah, I haven't quite figured all that out. Yeah, because subscribing on YouTube is different from... It's basically the same as following on Twitch, for instance. And then uh, liking on Facebook. They, they all they all the same thing. They stuff. just have a different word for it so they can be unique. Basically. Yes. It's really been amazing to watch all that grow over the last few years. All the social media. All right. Not long now. That's not a bad question, Crowley Hamster. Uh, on the last day of the con, they want to know if they're going to be able to purchase or get the September Bones Black Mini of the month. That's a Ron question, but uh, it'll be September. Thank you for the follow. That's a very, very good question. I'll hit Ron with that. See if we can insist. He's so draconianly. He guards the what the figure's going to be. I'm surprised there's not a safe in there. I think he takes it at home. So we can't find it. All right. So we got that, that, and that. Now we got to put some contrast to this because that looks really boring. But it does get the job done. As you can see, now he's finally, finally, finally starting to pull together. So let's get some copper on there. If it has enough contrast for that, we'll do the orange for that. All right, I'm actually pretty good to talking to myself, aren't I? Nah, I'll just hit this stuff. Too close to the scorch metal. All right, Do so I'm Dr. Going Bob to add. wants to know if you're going to leave the red areas that are modeled alone. Yes, or are you going to additionally touch them up? No. Pretty much nope. it's done, but if I, I could go back with a lighter red. Uh, I've got a Pathfinder red here that is a Mauricial red that looks like it would be a good color if you want to hit onto the top of it. If you want a little bit brighter, we have Siona Scarlet. But it depends sort of what you're trying to do. You know, for me, if it gets too light, it almost starts to cheapen it in a way, I guess. I don't know. It depends really what you're trying to get to. Right now, it's, got, it's a very dark piece. Uh, and it does definitely could take a little lightning. Oh, also, according to Doug Sunseth, and I, uh, I think Ron said this last week, uh -huh. said that the uh, the mail orders wouldn't get the new mini until the third September third. Um, oh, that was when it goes on in there in the. But, but that doesn't mean we couldn't have it at ReaperCon. Well, it, it, but apparently the con goers could get it early. Oh, okay. So, I assume Ron said that. I, I don't always remember. I have no idea. So I've added some orange. I don't know if it's going to be enough to contrast. Probably not. Added some orange to the uh, copper. 
and, or not cheap, really, it's almost a yellow. Actually, I bet a yellow would work really well to pull and pop. We've got a canary yellow. I can get more yellow than that. And I leave what's on my brush on the brush for stuff like this because really what I'm trying to do is just pull it in to be a little bit more of a contrast for the edges. And that's not really enough either. It's better. It's better. Just pulling some stuff out. I don't know how well y'all can see. Get a little closer, then it gets a little more definition there. Um, when does Reapercon actually open? Like time Wednesday, Wednesday night, we do what we call a meet and greet. And that was started. We uh, provide the pizza. There we go. This is back to that finger painting. Uh, there'll be pizza there. It's free. It's, or it's part of the whole thing. I think it's like a $5 ticket, so I guess it's not free to get in there. And, uh, and we started it because everybody, and me and myself included, show up you know, a day early, right? I want to get my traveling done, get there, get calmed down, get ready for the, the show. And uh, so we realized we had all these people sitting around, so that's why we just started doing pizza. And so it technically starts Wednesday night. Now, classes and uh, all events in the dealer's room, all of that kick off uh, Thursday morning, early. This year, they're adding, uh, I guess, are you seeing this? Yeah. Uh, looks a lot better here in person than it does on the screen. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Well, you got to get it closer. It's kind of out of focus right now. How about right there? A little, little closer. Keep coming. Okay. We'll just stop there. Okay. Now, all I'm literally using is canary yellow, and I'm just hitting higher areas. And if it's too much, you see I'm just taking my finger pulling it back down, you know, so it's there. All right, now. Oh, give oh us there that. is, there is Sean Old, but uh, we, we put tape and it's kind of a uh, running joke for Ed to actively ignore the tape when he, uh, you know, films. I wouldn't say it's a running joke. I think it's something that happens. It ha I get so focused. I'll believe it on focus. There's a word. Uh, I'm looking for that skeletal bleached white. We'll go back with that skeletal color. Hey, Dave just sent a uh, Dave just sent a, a, a picture, by the way, of after they moved your car, and he uh -oh. he cut out your car and flipped it upside down. Up upside down. So it's 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 literally upside down. You can post that, yeah. That's a, just a joke running around here for those that aren't on the inside. Matt Clark, the guy here that came and got my keys, I guess about two or three months ago, a manhole, which I wouldn't think would be on the highway, was on the highway, and the cover was ajar and off. And he was in the company truck, and he hit it, and by the time he came to a stop, he was upside down in the truck. But uh, no one was hurt. It was really actually very quite it's amazing that it could all be done like that. But... Uh, no one was hurt, and the manhole cover flipped off and went to the other side of the highway and landed on the hood of another car. No one was hurt, but it took the car out. Uh, total that car, total the truck, and now the state of Texas keeps... Now, obviously, insurance takes this from here. We don't mess with it. They're involved with settling with the state. It's a state issue, not us. The state of Texas is sending him demand-to-pay notes, letters, to pay for the guardrail damage, which I didn't know they would do that. I mean, I would have thought that was their job to go fix it, and it was the haphazard bad luck of people that created it. But nonetheless. So hence why that car is upside down. Bad taste, but still a fun joke. All right. Uh, Crowley, we are at um, an hour 20. Hour 20. We're coming up on, yeah, hour 20. So I'm 20 off, but you know, I'm really, really close. So what I'm doing now is I've got that skull, that skull, and I'm just, it's in a dry brush kind of thing, but there's really actually a lot of paint on this. And I'm just going along and doing that to it, to pull it out on his tail, 
same thing. There. So it's not a dry brush where you're trying to pull it up. You just want it to stand out a little bit. Now then on his hooves, same way. So by now, to finish it, I would just tell the party that are coming over to play and encounter this guy to stand out on the balcony or stand out on the door and wait. I'll answer it when I get there. So, then we had these guys. And again, you know, at this point right now, I'd say it's, it's done. But I haven't done eyes and I haven't done nose. But they're really small, but I could still get away with it. But I would go ahead and call it done at an hour 20. Uh, kind of thing. Now, if I was going to continue with it, somebody had mentioned us going back over with a brighter red, and for those that weren't here earlier to see it going, we could do that. So what I would do is I'll take our trusty black brush, what's left of it, and let's see, orange would pull it. It really depends on which way you want to go. Brighter red, deeper red. What was that deep red? Heraldric. You went and got it. Uh, oh, that one there. But that would be, that would end up being too deep. You know, I wanted to sit on the top and pull it up harder a little bit more. Now, Heraldric was the color I was pulling the regular red from. So we could do that, and that would just pull him. We'll do that. We'll just do a little bit more of the original color. So, just take this. Can we see? Let me pull it over. What we're doing, yeah. And there's still bl black left in it, which is fine. Not really, because it'll be too dark, but let's see what'll happen. And again, use a test spot. Sort of just come along here. Actually, I think that'll help. Yeah. So what I would do with this now is just come back in and pull. Make sure y'all can see this. And it's going to sort of pay, what it's doing by using the original color back over is pulling a little bit of the higher pinks out. So I'm getting rid of, a, getting a little bit more of a uh, complete red effect. Especially on this tail down here where I started, because I'd end up with two coats and a bad wash. So taking this and going back over it would help break it up. Back of his legs. Let's see, up here. Now, when you're doing stuff like this, like I just went straight on top of that black that was on top of the, the I put the, had black and then we put the white on there to get the horn to stand out. Now I'm putting a red on it, but it's so light, it actually sort of turns them a little bit darker brown. So don't worry about it. It's this, this is the kind of thing you're just not worried about staying in the lines. So anyway, that would be if we did it. And I like that, it, by adding a little bit more to that uh, areas, sort of pulled it together and gave some contrast. So I would, I would call it done there if you want to hit it, which ends up being right at an hour, hour and a half. Hour and a half. Okay, there we go. close enough. Close enough. Close enough for grenades. So anyway, I hope you all learned something. I hope you all got a good giggle out of it, because I definitely did. Uh, and if you haven't used this kind of brush before, try it. It's, anything is fair game. I picked one up from over here. I never used it, but I was wondering in case we might need to do something with this, which is also, they're just fun tools. And they're all just tools in your tool chest. So anyway, everybody have fun. I will get to those pokies, the people that sent that when I get a chance. What do I need to say, Justin? What, is, what am I missing? Well, we need to do the drawing before oh, we sign this out. Oh, man. God, yes. There we go. And, and I need to sign it. So let me paint a signing on there. You're just going to do it on the bottom, I assume? Yeah, I'll just do it okay. on the bottom. No, on his forehead, he's a demon, right? So. Yeah, no. We could. But then no one would see it. It'd be easier for this. So start drawing. All right. Or, oh, I mean, you've got, you've got everybody going. Well, tell everybody, give them one more chance to get in there. Yes, hashtag free, guys, if you haven't already. All right. Oh. What? Oh, no, this is not Reaper Live. This is... Reaper Toolbox. Yeah. What episode of Toolbox? Uh, ten, actually. Oh, okay. 
I wish I did. I didn't get to paint. I didn't paint anything this year. I should put this in. No, we're giving away the. Uh, on this we're episode. giving it away, but yeah. Uh, hashtag free Rhonda. Just type um, or pound sign. For if she wins it, she's just gonna take it out and melt it. Just like you see in chat there. Yeah, get a silver marker. I almost threw you a battery, Ed. Oh, I could take a battery, too, if I had to. I don't know what I would do with it. So. What episode was this? Uh, 10. Toolbox 10. There we go. So we have it signed. It's ready to go. And what do I do with the lid? You better find it. That's my only one of those. Oh, this is the only one. So I just can't like hand it back to you and go. I don't know what happened to the lid. In fact, just let it sit there on the table. I don't know if it's got paint on it or not. Oh God, it's not germ paint. This it is, is germ this paint. is good stuff. I'm gonna be licking my fingers later. All right, guys. Let's see what we get here. Who gets it? And of course, when you do, if you when your name's called, if you're the one's called. You need to send Justin, email him your address and your handle so that he can put those two together. If you don't do that, it don't show up and you'll see it at ReaperCon. What email address should they send it to, Ed? To uh, ReaperLive at ReaperMini.com. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. All right. So the one who won is G-H-R-I-0. Hey. Giro? Giro, maybe? As in, uh, yeah. Maybe. Fighting uh, Godzilla? Well, that was yeah, Godzilla. that could be it. I, I don't know. But uh, let me go ahead and announce it, so in case they're not actually listening. Yeah. All right. There it is. All right. And All right, if everybody. You won, remember, email ReaperLive at ReaperMini.com. And see if you can get a close-up on it, and then see it one more, and then we'll go. Okay, uh, move it up some for me, please. There we go. Perfect. There we go. All right. So there you go. Done. Done and dusted. All right. Well, then, uh, for those of you who are going to tune in tomorrow, we'll see you tomorrow. Reaper Live at Reaper 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, 6 p.m. Ron and I will be there. And uh, if that not, it? then we'll we'll see you maybe next week at ReaperCon. Yes, definitely. I want to see everybody there. If That'll not, be fun. if you're not going to be there, don't forget to tune in for the shows and for all the stuff we're going to stream during the actual con. Yeah. So, all it'll right. be fun, guys. All right, Y'all have, have fun. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye.